Hi everyone. So, in the beginning of the year, I was thinking about documenting and share to everyone my quest to find the best bracket overgrip for me. So, I've been using this X-Dry grip from Alien Pros and loving it. And I'm probably biased towards it in the beginning of the video. However, it's quite difficult to find and it's quite hard to come by, so I figure uh, I should be looking for alternatives. So in this review, I'll be comparing four overgrips that are accessible for me. The first one is the ever-popular Yonex AC102. The next is Wilson Pro Comfort Overgrip, which I just found out that uh, a lot of people actually prefer uh, for tennis, that is. But I figure if it's good for tennis, it's probably good for badminton too. Next is my current favorite, which is the X Dry from Alien Pros. Uh, I like it because it maintains grip even when you press power heavily. Now the last one is quite an oddball because Adidas badminton equipment is hard to find and I believe they don't even have a website for their badminton products. So since I, I'm able to find them, it might be an interesting comparison. Now single-ended means that only one end of the grip is finished with tape whereas double-ended means both of the ends are finished with tape. So technically, you can use them without finishing tape. Now, since the Yonex 102 is the easiest grip to find in my opinion, um, I'll be comparing everything to that, meaning that the Yonex will always have a score of 3, and everything will be score in comparison to that. So it doesn't mean that the Yonex objectively have the score of 3 um, in a sense that it's uh, the perfect balance of all values it just means that um, it's it's the yardstick or the uh, benchmark for everything else to be evaluated so I'll be scoring the rest of the grips uh, in comparison to the Yonex so if a grip have a tackiness value of 1 it doesn't mean that it's absolutely not tacky, it's just less tacky than the Onyx. Every grip will be wrapped with my preferred method, which is having this nub at the end to the very top of the cone. And I try to maintain one third of the width overlap. And if you're interested to learn my method of wrapping, check out this video. For the wet test, I'll be wearing an armband that I soak heavily with water. Uh, this meant to simulate uh, the con playing condition where you perspire heavily. Yonex 102 is very easy to find, where I live at least, but everywhere I believe. And it's actually uh, the one that I use first time I'm playing badminton. However, it seems like it doesn't really like sweat, so it becomes very slippery when wet. That's why I stopped using it. The Adidas is just out of curiosity because Adidas is not well known for its badminton equipment and I just want to know how it compares to more established manufacturers for badminton equipment. My preference for some while is the X-Dry Grip by Alien Pros because it maintains grip even when my hands are extremely wet and I find it to uh, 
be quite durable in a sense that uh, it takes some while to be saturated with grimes to lose its its grip and needs to be replaced. I hear a lot of praise for the Wilson Pro Comfort Grip and it's it's actually made for tennis but um, I'm, I'm quite intrigued how it will perform and hopefully it will perform exceptionally well to be considered. I will be comparing the grips under three circumstances. The first is out of the box, how they feel right after you wrap them. Then playing in dry condition and playing in wet condition. Elasticity just means how much they can stretch. Uh, this will affect how you can manipulate the thickness of the grip and how easy to wrap them. As I said, the Yonex will be used as a benchmark, hence the scoring. However, this does not mean that the Yonex have a neutral property. I do find that the Yonex is on the tacky side, and at the initial wrapping, it, feel, it feels that it has a good grip. The Wilson actually feels quite similar to the Yonex. However, I do find it to be a little bit grippier. So, grippy means that it it won't easily slip, where tacky means that it's it feels sticky if that makes sense. Now, the Alien Pros out of the box doesn't have a lot of grip to it, but from my previous experience it has the most grip under wet condition and also out of the four it is the most firm it doesn't feel as cushy as the others the adidas is the least stretchy out of the four however it's actually the softest it has the most cushion out of the grips, out of the rest of the grips. And initially, it feels alright. It feels, it, it feels that it has some decent grip to it. However, um, we're gonna assess it later when we play with it. Again, I use the Yonex as the benchmark. And right off the box i think the yonex is the tackiest out of the four and playing it dry it has a very good grip and it actually been a while since i use it it's actually not a not a bad grip i think the reason why i stopped using it is down to because it's not too durable when it got saturated with grimes and sweat, it's just, it's, it, it's completely useless in my opinion. And it's done so after, say like, 10 games or so. So, uh, take it as you will. When it's dry, I found that the Wilson feels very, very similar to the Onyx. Both feel very tacky very grippy and it's it's okay to play with the only thing that bothers me is actually the tackiness i don't really like my grip to feel um, sticky it almost feels like you're touching wet flash <laughs> if that makes sense but overall i think the onyx and the wilson uh, performs the same in which um, other than the tackiness I have no complaint the alien pros is very unique now it slightly have less grip than the rest of the I mean from the previous two 
However, the grip does not have any tech whatsoever. It almost feels like it has a built-in chalk, if that makes sense. So, for me, it's the easiest grip to play with because you, you can easily change your grip without your finger um, sticking into the grip, if that makes sense. Being the softest grip in this test, I kind of expect the Adidas to be as grippy and as tacky as the Yonex or the Wilson. However, it's not the case here. Uh, this grip is less tacky and less grippy than the Onyx and the Wilson. However, I don't think this is a disadvantage because I find it to be as easy to play with as the other two. Now, bear with me here. During the wet test, I find that some grips, most grips, uh, feels different after they dry a little bit, after they absorb a bit of moisture out of your hand. So I'm, I'm putting two scores here. I still use the Yonex as the benchmark. In this case, the Yonex when your hand is very wet. And the second score is how they feel after uh, your hands dried a bit. Now I don't know how to explain this correctly, but I find that the Yonex is the second least consistent grip. The way it changes feel is quite noticeable. The Wilson is very good in the wet. I'm actually starting to prefer this than the Alien Pros. Um, it's, it's not as consistent as the Alien Pros. However, the overall feel and the confidence that it gave me is quite reassuring. In the wet, it has more grip than the Onyx and it feels less tacky and it is as easy to use as to the Yonex when it's starting to dry a bit. I just realized that I didn't record the wet test session for the Alien Pros grip um, however I can report that out of the rest of the grips, the Alien Pro's grips is the most consistent. I don't feel any difference when it's completely wet and when it starts to dry. And I think overall this is the most um, confidence inspiring grip if you sweat heavily and the tackiness it, it 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 doesn't feel tacky in any condition so if you like your grip to be feeling very very dry then this is the grip for you the adidas grip is the least consistent grip in this test now to begin with in the wets it feels very slippery and the tackiness are just gone and when it when it's when it when it starts to dry it doesn't help that much because the grip still feels very slippery and i do find using this grip it's the most difficult to play with simply because you're always afraid of losing grip and have the racket shoots off your hand. In conclusion, I will be ranking uh, the grips in accordance to my preference and the least favorite have to be the Adidas simply because 
it's the most inconsistent the feel changes very rapidly throughout the playing condition and overall it doesn't offer the best grip out of the bunch it's it's the most comfortable though i mean if you're only playing casually because i found that this is the softest the cushiest grip i think you can have more mechanical grip by uh, clamping the grip harder but if if you are to maneuver the racket and you have varying force applied to your racket I don't think this is the best option for you now the next is the Yonex it's it's not the best or the second best grip in my opinion honestly it's down to the durability in my previous experience this grip loses its grip quite rapidly probably after 7 10 game it starts to feel very very slippery and well to be fair given the best circumstances when it's newly wrapped and that when it it hasn't been played a lot it's actually not a bad grip but knowing that I have to change the grip quite often makes me dislike this grip the second best is the alien pros now I've been using this grip for a while now and it's been my favorite for a while as well simply because it it has the most grip when it's wet and I know it to be very very durable it will last twice or maybe three times as much as the Yonex ones. So once you grip your racket with this grip, you know that you will not be changing it very often. Now, the reason it's not my favorite anymore is because it, it has a good grip in wet condition. However, it does not have the best grip all of the time. And it only shines when when your hand is extremely wet. However, during another circumstances, better circumstances, when you you have access to a dry towel every time, this grip is a bit lacking than even the Onyx and the favorite my new favorite grip and finally my new favorite grip the Wilson Pro Comfort Over Grip the reason why I like this grip is because it has the most grip now to be fair the grip level went down when it's wet but not to the point that it's unusable unlike some other grips and secondly actually I've been using this grip for some while now too and I find it to be quite durable now I don't think it's as durable as the Alien Pros but it's certainly much better than the Yonex now one best thing for me is that this grip is quite common and easy to find so I think that's a very huge advantage from the alien pros grip which I like but it's quite easy it's quite difficult to come by 
Now, it's not the most consistent grip, sure, and sometimes it's not even the easiest grip to play with. However, most of the time, it offers good grip and ease of use. And for those reasons, this is my new favorite grip. So there you have it. I really tried to keep everything concise, but it's been dragging for a while now, so I won't waste another time in, in the outro, so there you go, make it as you will. So thanks very much, and goodbye.